Hi, this is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. I have been seeing lately the clever ways that people have figured out to make winding stations. And I it twigged for me that using one of my favorite tools in the studio happens to be steel um what are they called sawhorses steel sawhorses are great i use them as uh, stands for my knitting machines and it struck me that i could clamp my ball winder at one end and my bobbin winder in the middle I needed to clamp an extra piece of wood to stick it out because the uh, clamp on the bobbin winder wouldn't um, fit on the depth of the uh, steel plate that is folded to make the sawhorse. Um, it's just, it's thin, and so I did have to put another piece of wood underneath the clamp to hold it in, and I actually uh, put... Uh, a little block of wood under each of the clamps for the uh, ball winder. I like the fact that it comes with a non-stick surface, uh, or a, no, it is a sticky surface because you want things to not be shoveled around on it and slip around on it. And then I have my um, Swift at the other end. So, what I have here is a very quick and easy hack that works beautifully as a ball winding station or bobbin winding station. And it was very cheap and cheerful because the um, sawhorses were on a super duper sale at the hardware store. So we bought a few of them. So if you want a ball winding station or bobbin winding station, think about using something unexpected, like a sawhorse. Works great. I love it. Happy weaving, everyone.